Hi, my name is Robert Ray. We're here at CES 2011, and we're looking at a bunch of new reference hardware that has been developed as part of uh, the Geneva project, and I'm here with Michael from Pelagicore. So um, what's really exciting here is, is we're looking at a cross-platform uh, example of Geneva and Migo. So on the left-hand side, we're looking at uh, an ARM unit, which is about $600. I'll let Michael get into the technical details in, in a second here. But uh, Pelagicore has made this daughter board that goes on top, uh, or on, underneath in this case, uh, it plugs into a Beagle board that gives you full uh, access to a lot of the systems in the car that have previously been inaccessible. And uh, on the right hand side, this is a newer version of something that we saw last year. This is Intel's uh, Geneva uh, reference design, in-vehicle in reference design. Uh, so maybe you can tell us about some of the technical specs on these two boards here. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, what we have here on the left side is the, uh, as you mentioned before, the Texas Instruments based uh, uh, system. It's a 600 megahertz uh, A8 based OMAP3 uh, system ASIC. And uh, the board that we're using is, uh, as you mentioned before, it's a Beagle board C4, so it's a standard uh, board. The reason we're using that is uh, it's got a very big um, uh, development community, and there's hundreds of thousands of uh, developers working on that board on a daily basis. So we, we wanted to leverage of that, leverage that uh, community, um, and instead of making a new complete design, we made this daughter card, uh, automotive daughter card for uh, the Beagle board. And the automotive daughter card contains uh, lots of connectivity features, automotive specific connectivity features like most network, this optical 25 megabit um, network that's very common in European cars. Um, we've got CAN, control area network, um, we've got LIN, we also have automotive AM FM radio on there. It's um, an XP um, Dirana 2 based chipset that we're using. That's very common in, in automotive designs. So we've also got Bluetooth, power management, audio routing, and a number of other features that are specific to automotive, uh, automotive systems. Okay. And on the right side here, we've got the Northville system. This is the new Intel Atom-based um, system. It's a 1.6 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz um, multi-threading um, Atom on this uh, on this card. It's got uh, the new automotive IO hub from ST Micro. Um, we have a number of uh, ST Micro. Here. They're the same people that make the graphics accelerator in the iPhone, right? Uh, no, it's it's not ST. It's uh, it's actually Imagination that okay. makes the graphics actuator. Very good. So um, what we have here on the on the back is a number of connectors. We've got the um, automotive connector here with a number of um, of um, interfaces. We've got autom we've got um, uh, CAN. We've got LVDS for uh, external displays. We've got um, um, uh, various powers, USB, uh, SATA connection. We've got MOST 50, uh, very commonly used in uh, in Japan in Asia for. Um, audio video communication in, in cars. Uh, we've got Bluetooth antenna, AM FM radio antenna, and so forth. It's a really a, a full blown uh, head unit style uh, reference system by, by Intel. And both these two systems uh, represent the current um, reference systems for Geneva. So the uh, ARM reference for Geneva is the Texas Instrument system, and the Intel reference is the, uh, the Northfield system from Intel. And they're both running the same software stack. They're running uh, the Geneva software stack. The uh, Geneva software stack is based on Migo 1.1 IVI. And on top of that, we have a Nokia Qt based HMI, fairly simplistic HMI that shows a number of features of the, uh, the platform. So um, we're showing um, various widgets and, and um, applications that demonstrate the capabilities of both platforms. And the cool thing here is that we're running the same software on, on both of these. Mm -hmm. So for the first time, we're showing Geneva cross-platform, really. Great. Uh, and so the um, you mentioned that the price of this board, it might be in the $2,500 range when it goes to ship. I don't think it's set yet, but um, um, that's something for, for Intel to confirm. <laughs> okay, very good. But yeah. previous models of this were in the 6,000 range, and again, this one's 600. So if you wanted to get a low budget type of project going, what you're trying to do, a developer project in the car, this is a, a great place to start. Uh, everything uh, is uh, open source here for the most part, and I uh, encourage you to check out stuff with Geneva, and there's more stuff on the MP3 car forums. Thanks for watching our blog. Thank you for the, the tour. Thank you.